Hi there. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys real quick how to get streaming to work from the Xbox One over to the current preview edition of Windows 10. So real exciting news. If you guys caught E3 today, you've probably heard that Xbox One games can now be streamed over to Windows 10. And I'll show you how you can do that today. The first thing you're going to need is the uh, Xbox preview dashboard installed. Make sure you've got that configured to be downloading preview OS updates. So once you've got that installed from the game store, you can go ahead and pop it open. Uh, it'll sort of walk you through how to enable whenever you install it. So go ahead and make sure you have that. And next, you're going to want to head over to Settings and go over to the Preferences. Inside here, you're going to see an option for Allow Game Streaming to Other Devices. So you're going to want to make sure this is checked by default in the Preview Operating System. It is not checked, so you're going to want to go in there make sure that you have that selected. Once you've got that, you don't have to reboot the console or anything. You can just sit back. And um, what we're gonna do is go head on upstairs and I'll show this streaming on the desktop. All right, so I'm back upstairs um, at my desktop here and you can see I'm running a version of Windows 10. This is a preview edition. You can actually get this. It's available for free at insiders.windows.com. You want to make sure that you get the latest edition that's being offered. Currently, I'm running build 10130, and I imagine you're going to need a version uh, at least there or above in order for this uh, streaming to work. So what I'm going to do to kick this off is uh, go to the search bar and type in Xbox. You'll notice there's a new app. It's just called Xbox, not to be confused with Xbox One Smart Glass. And we'll go ahead and launch that up. And over here on the left, you're going to see there's a connect option here. And it'll say connected if it sees your device. And uh, it sees me already. Um, as long as you're on the same network, it shouldn't be any issue there. And you can also connect directly with the IP address if it's not finding it automatically. So what I'm going to do to kick off the streaming, simply hit the stream button here. And this begins the connecting. And boom, there we go. I see my Xbox One dashboard. And I'm actually going to control this with an Xbox 360 wired USB controller. You'll see I can navigate through here using the directional buttons, all that sort of stuff. Let's uh, fire up an awesome classic here, Killer Instinct. You'll see um, I've got the game playing right on my PC. Uh, I can go in here, you know, select my character. You'll see uh, what's really cool is how well this streams. I'm actually going over Wi-Fi and uh, it's certainly playable and this of course would improve if you're playing over uh, like a lo local Ethernet connection. But you'll see um, I've got audio coming through. I've also got uh, you know uh, 1080p video. Now let's see. This is really cool. I mean, I can imagine a few scenarios where maybe the Xbox is, you know, in the living room, right? But you're in bed and you want to play Xbox, right? Well, now you can do that with the stream to Windows 10. So it's pretty sweet. You can see um, buttons do work off the 360 controller. So um, really good stuff. Anyways, um, there's a few more things to explore here. For example, I found that pressing the X button here brings up an option for doing Xbox record that and all those um, taking snapshots you'll see uh, access to the settings and things like that um, but uh, this should get you started so remember this is currently in preview mode so there's still things being worked on here but as you can see it's alive and well uh, works great it's an awesome way to extend your gaming experience from the living room to wherever your Windows 10 PC or desktop laptop whatever it may be awesome well thank you for watching and um, game on